So welcome to Bharat Insights. Today I'm back with another interesting video. So which is again most common interview scenario question and uh, which is very very important for the Power BI users. Okay. The question is like can you tell me Power BI best practices uh, for documenting your data model. Okay. So let's say for example if you're working with real time project or when you onboarded into some new new projects and uh, if you want to understand the entire Power BI project the first step we usually do is to refer a data model. Right. So who develop the data model they have to do this data model documentation at any cost it is like you know uh, you are reading a book without having any indexes without having any story and all which is very difficult to understand for all other users so if you are a real and true power bi developer which is very very important to have a power bi data model so this is how the data model looks like and for this entire data model you should prepare a data model documentation and why it is important uh, in, in all the cases uh, if you want to do any changes which column to be removed which DAX you used everything is recorded in that document okay so I'll be covering uh, most of the steps uh, what things to be covered in this data model documentation so hit like on this video and comment uh, on this video what you liked most and subscribe to my youtube channel share with your friends it will boost me to do more and more videos okay so the next which understand data model documentation is basically it's a kind of a process where you can clearly describing your tables what tables you use what columns you use how your relationships are available what measures you use what kind of a calculated columns you have used and any business logic you have added so that you know both technical and non-technical users can easily understand and uh, use you can effectively define your model so why it is important let's say you are giving knowledge transfer to any of the person uh, instead of oh, you know uh, imagination or oral explanation you can directly share this data model document they can able to easily understand and if you want to collaborate with other persons like uh, you can have a proper manual so better collaboration and if if your client is doing a kind of an audit methodology so it is like an audit ready for you and uh, it reduces rework because uh, if if you are assigned with a new project you don't know where it is available so you instead of changing all the things if you refer data model that saves most of your time so it reduces rework and it builds the user trust okay because based on that manual your entire doc based on the documentation your entire project is built so which creates a proper trust trust between the users okay so this is very very important uh, data model documentation so what are the things to be covered in the data model documentation the first step is the data model diagram means the visual representation so you have to create a proper visual representation of the data model in which you have to show your tables you have to show what columns you have to use and how the relationships are connected okay so the visual representation which which helps the users to understand it first instance very easily and not only that you have to give clear labeling so you have to use clear and concise labels for the tables and for each and every column and uh, how your relationships are made so that should have a proper clarity you have to highlight the relationship between the tables like one to one, one to many, many to many, many to one. So the cardinality you have to highlight for the better clarity in the data model diagram itself. So that is related to data model. And the next phenomenon you have to cover in the document is data source documentation. It means documentation is really needed from where you are you know data is coming from what kind of a source so for example you have to include your database type let's say you are using a snowflake you are using ssis you are using ssms or using flat files you are using csv json or you are using any cloud what kind of a data sources you are used you have to mention in this documentation and how you are used your connection strings and not only that you also need to write down the credentials because tomorrow you are out of that project if somebody is again wants working on the project so the credentials should be available right so the credentials must be recorded in this documentation for, for future references okay this is about the data source methodology and data refresh schedule so data source is done and the project is done so you have to mention data refresh schedule so what frequency your data is again refreshing on a periodical manner so uh, like is it on daily is it on hourly is it on weekly is it on monthly based or is it on quarterly based or yearly based data refresh is happening for that model so you have to specify the frequency as well 
and during this data sources you may also need to write down few limitations right so you have to outline few limitation or your known issues with respect to your data source like any limitation with respect to the size volume number of columns so that you have to document uh, in the in in this so if if anyone again uh, if you want to refer why we have consider only these many columns so we can simply say these are our limitations during the development so they can refer the document and the next important thing is the data transformation steps so this is the actual part what the, is like the power query step so you have to document the steps involved in data cleaning data transforming and shaping your data it basically like what columns you eliminated what columns you renamed what columns you avoided how you transformed how you merged how you appended all the power query steps whatever the things you have done you have to document here as well because power query you can use the best practice of info button you can add the description but the same steps should be take a screenshot and add in this document as well and the next you may be developing lot of dax formulas correct so for the dax formulas you have to create a kind of a table the dax measure dax formula the business logic for the dax formula you have to explain everything in detail let's say for example division you have done numerator which column you have taken denominator which column you have taken or you are using any percentages or you are using any threshold values what is the business logic behind that threshold value so if you have client is approved for the threshold value you have to attach the email as a hyperlink everything should be covered in this dax formulas as a proper table format so if if i am if i am a power bi developer if i my power bi file is having around 100 dax formulas so i I no need to scratch my head and you know wonder from where I got all this. I can simply refer my Power BI documentation for the DAX formulas, and it will explain the purpose. It will explain the logic for all the complex DAX. Okay, and in this transformation, you also need to highlight the data quality issues. For example, uh, is there any issues? I know occurred during the development and how we actually addressed. So in short, we have to highlight the data quality issues as well in the data transformation steps, and. see everything cannot be done uh, with, with with the proper usage right so there may be few assumptions and few limitations right so data model assumptions and limitation is one of the segment we have to mandatory add in the word file document so assumptions are nothing but document any assumptions made about the data like for example data completeness or data accuracy so if that is a case you have to highlight in the document and not only that like limitations few may be missing values so identify any limitations of the data for example any missing values available or any kind of an outliers you you take can this as a limitation or an assumption you have to add in this data model as well so these are the main important things and at the end you have to add business glossary for example key terms so you have to define key key terms and business concepts used in the data model for example you are using healthcare what are key terms you have used you are using a financial dashboard what key terms you have used with respect to that business or supply chain supply chain business concepts hr hr business concept marketing marketing business concepts like that you have to define everything and data definition so you have to provide clear definitions for data elements and metrics let's say for example you have taken attrition rate uh when you're doing for hr analytics so you have to define what do you mean by attrition rate for the users to understand right i am i'm coming i'm coming from non technical background i can refer your documentation i can understand okay attrition rate is nothing but how many employees are leaving from my organization they will fall into my attrition rate so that kind of a definitions you have to provide with a clear definition and data standards so you have any followed any conventions or any you know unique standards you followed with respect to the clients uh you know respect to approvals you have to mention the data standards as well so these are very very important things you have to cover in the data model documentation so the most best practices uh, it should be it cannot be like over complex like it should be very clear and concise uh, language you have to explain and uh, while you are preparing your that word document you have to use some consisting formatting use a consisting formatting style throughout the documentation it cannot be like some of the area should be very you know lengthy very uh, proper indentation is it, it is missing so it is not that case formatting are is very must the next is a visual aids so wherever possible in instead of text you use more diagrams or flow charts to explain the complex and relationships very easy to understand 
and next regular update see documentation at the time you have done and you have submitted your project and you know you are you move to other project that is not the case so it should be placed in a proper share point and proper revision methodology should be done let's say if tomorrow another developer is working okay some of the dax formulas have been eliminated okay you have only eliminated in the DAX power bi file but you also need to revise this power bi documentation data model documentation as well you have to come to this data model documentation why this two dax formulas have been eliminated you have to write down the steps okay it's a kind of a revision so keep the documentation up to date as a data model evolves if any new data comes you have to revise if any new data size is increased you have to revise this model so next is the version control as i mentioned you have to use a version control to tag changes and collaborate effectively so you have to maintain that as a new revision one revision two revision three so in real time projects you know uh, i can tell you uh, one of the project i have seen is a revision 16 with respect to data model revision only so the duration may be within two years the data model is revised for almost 16 times not only the power bi file data model should be revised as well so these are very very important concepts. most of the you know i have not seen anywhere this topic is covered in the youtube so i want to take up this as a challenge and this is very realistic use case so this is being asked in interviews or if you're facing any interviews you can tell to the recruiters what best practices you've been followed for data model development you can mention all these documents how i have explained okay so hope uh, this video helpful for you to clear your interviews and you gain some of some of the better knowledge so like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel so i'll i'll try to post more and more and more videos for you thank you so much everyone for watching till the end of this video thank